This weekend, we're making the ultimate outdoor better. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojax. So right now we're just trying to build a platform for our tent. We've spotted out our location in the woods, taken down some trees, cleared land. Kevin and I have done it several times. Uh, so we've got our tried and true techniques, which involve screeing the land with your boot and then uh, stick down a deck block. If anyone ever tells you foundation shouldn't be built on soggy moss and dirt, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> what we decided to do was to make two beams that are going to flank down the side. This thing is humongous. Apocalypse tent platform. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Not exactly a backpacking tent. This is in quite a bit. We better do this right here. <laughs> We're going to be digging little pads for these things all over the place. Um, we got one level. We tried to get the next one leveled around and around. It, it felt like a bit of a merry-go-round of stupidity. All right, come on, level. Oh, bang on. A lot of wood in this, baby. Give me a lot of decking. This tent must be a monster, eh? It's a bedroom for a king, man. We've got the fly screen to put down, the decking to go, and then we're trying to raise the tent. Kevin's in the woods uh, with a handsaw, and he's getting the uprights. We've got the double-sided ax. This is going to be our ridge pole. And then we're going to yank them all back to the site and see what we can do. <laughs> have a 40 foot tall tent. <laughs> it's for our giant friends. We've got the deck in place already. Now it's time to start putting the tent together. Kevin and I started monkeying around with it, trying to get them to stay up straight. Maybe before I barked them all, we should have measured. Pioneers had these things and put them up probably in a matter of minutes. We'll see how many days it takes Junior and I to put this thing up. What could go wrong? What we're thinking is put up the frame, brace it, and then try and get the tent up and tie it on somehow. You can tell it's a disaster in the making. I think we went way too big on these. I think it was about 10 feet. I have a feeling trigonometry could come in handy here. There really is a big tree suspended above you on the ridge pole, and nothing's gonna wreck a romantic night like wondering when that thing's gonna fall on you. Mark! Kevin and I were thinking we'd get these up, screw them down, get them in place, and then maybe get a ladder or something. I don't think you can do it that way. I think we got to attach it freehand and then stand up. The tent has a bunch of grommets in it, so we took the rope, cut it up, lashed it to our poles, and now we're just about to lift the whole thing. OK, so what's the plan of attack for getting this thing in the sky? Me on one side, you on the other. Kevin, Kevin in the middle. Me in the middle. I'm sure it'll go flawlessly <laughs> like everything always does. <laughs> Ready? Pretty good there. Not bad. Oh! Ready? Ugh. These prospectors were strong. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. That doesn't look so good. Can you, uh, like, pull your pen towards you? Pull it towards me? Yeah, oh, you guys push. just lift yeah. it up? Keep going. One more. There we go. We forgot to lash this one over here. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really cool. I'm glad we went with the external frame, though. This yeah. is pretty neat. Do you think our lashings are sufficient? Yeah, I do. I guess that wouldn't even hurt you that bad if it hit you. You just <laughs> got to know where to sleep in this thing. <laughs> Don't sleep in the middle. <laughs> The impetus for this project basically came from having an overcrowded cottage. Just a couple days ago, it was just this piece of land. Built a nice little platform. The tent itself and the supporting structure is really appealing. A little bit disappointed that Ashley couldn't make it down, but it's nice to see uh, him enjoying it. Remember that time I fell in the river backpacking? I wet both of our sleeping bags. A little different, eh? There was a root in my back. We didn't even have mattresses. We did, oh. but we left oh. them behind when we rolled down the hill. Oh. <laughs> This is a bit better. 